today we're basically going to make an update video on the reef tank and um, yeah so um, let's get over the new stuff that I got so um, the most exciting thing that I got in this tank is probably this sea hare one of the most amazing creatures I have ever seen I mean he is so weird I mean First I thought like sea hares was like one big like uh, slug, like you know, regular slugs. But look at this, for it to camouflage, sorry for that, like a rock, it's all flat over here. Don't know if you can see it, but it's all, it's like, it looks like it got stuck in a pump or something and then it got cut over, but that's how they look. And um, what's really amazing about these guys is that they have a hole on top of them, um, on top of them, right, right there that you can see right there, and on the back of them they also got a hole, and those two holes are what they used to breathe with. Um, they are excellent algae eaters, probably the best algae eater you could ever get. Um, it's much better than just a cleanup crew um, having um, a sea hare, although they do poop a lot, um, which is a problem, um, but they. They, you know, if you do water changes, you can easily remove that. Um, but just look at that. Look at that guy. He's so weird. Just look at that. Oh my god. First I was like, you, that guy is disgusting. But then I was like, he is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. But uh, I'm going to make a video on how to keep these guys because some people don't want to keep them because of them um, nuking the tank. But they won't do that if you just know how to do. One big Nessaria snail. I did get two, but one of them died. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's kind of sad. But one of them died, and yeah. So, but the other one just dug itself under the sand, and it's huge. Um, so that guy is just having fun down the sand bed. Then my cloggy clown is doing really, really well um, for the other fish. Finger leather is shedding, so it's doing fine. The anemone is crazy. I mean, you won't believe how much it has grown. Just look at that. I mean, it's it's soon not the size of a small plate. So that is really really nice. Um. Also, I got a new Duncan coral. Um. This thing here is just an amazing coral. It is easy to keep, easy to feed, um, it's very hardy, it's very colorful as well, and it has a lot of movement, um, which I really, really like. Um, it's not quite open yet, but it's almost fully opened. It will spread along this uh, plateau that you see right here, which is going to be really, really nice. Then I got a bicolor angelfish, as you can see down there in the, the cave, you can see him sticking his head out right before. Um, I think that angelfish, dwarf angelfish are amazing in a reef tank also because they're quite hard to keep in a reef tank sometimes um, but this guy was in a reef tank before I got him with soft corals and, and stuff like that so um, but they do sometimes nip at um, certain species of large polypstonies but we'll see how it goes he's totally worth it I'm, I mean he's, he's really beautiful look how these guys eat Look at that, that is the most alien thing you will ever see. That is so weird. But he's really cool, I'm really happy for him. Anyways, I also got a Scarlet Skunk Cleaner Shrimp. Um, he's in there together with the um, clownfish. I can see his uh, whiskers moving in there. Maybe you guys can see it as well. He's not very big, he's like almost 5 centimeters, um, so he's not very big, but that's fine. Um, he cleans the clownfish a lot, um, and I just saw him out here for a couple of minutes ago, so um, I'm really 
I love scallops, scallops and shrimp, but I love shrimp generally. You know, I also got shrimp, freshwater shrimp. Um, and the scallops gun created a clean shrimp definitely got a lot of color to it. Um, so, what else is going on in this tank? Well, I got so many cobra parts, you won't believe it. Um, the cobra parts are just covering the whole glass. But there's also growing kelp in here, um, red kelp, and you can see that between the hair algae right there, can you see, right, uh, kind of just right there, um, it is, it is not cyano, because it looks different, it's almost like slime, you know, but this one is like a plant, um, so I think it's kelp, even, either it's kelp, or then it's some other type of plant, but I don't know. Um, but I really like red algae, so I'm happy that I also got some on here. And you know, the rock right there, so that's really cool. But hair algae and bryopsis are taking over, and that's why I got my sea hair right there. That is the most weird creature I've ever seen, but I think it creates a lot of variety into the tank. And uh, if you don't know how he looks like, you won't even really notice him, because he just looks like a rock. Um, they are incredibly good at camouflaging themselves since um, they can change color from pink to green to brown to black um, and even to like a sandy color um, which is really cool um, so yeah everything is doing excellent um, you know yeah everything is going good so um, that was this update I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, yeah, I'm going to get some more fish um, at another point and some corals as well. But for now, I'm going to see how this works out. I, I just got them in yesterday um, and they do well. So yeah, see you guys in another video.